Happy Thursday to everybody. Uh, this is Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. Uh, we have our word of the day, which is BOCA, which is for <clears throat> digitally photographs uh, in out of focus areas. And we'll just bring up a little sentence to clarify it. The artist uses large areas of bokeh, B-O-K-E-H, in his photos to create visual interest. Once again, the visual quality of out of focus areas of a pho photographic image, especially as rendered by a particular lens. Bokeh. So that's our word of the day. Let's share our screen, go to the heat map. We have a much different look um, for today's heat map than we did yesterday. It looked like a, it was end of the month um, window dressing by professional managers. So they were selling kind of at the end of the day. Microsoft is back up, <clears throat> NVIDIA. Got some news from Amazon. Meta and Apple, all of their stocks are up after hours. Meta has really jumped, jumped from 390 to 440 something. We bought uh, 50 shares after hours, and then we had put on a spread. It was 395, 404. We'll take off the 404 tomorrow and let the 395 just exercise. So <clears throat> financials are kind of a mixed bag. Wells Fargo is down 289. Visa, MasterCard, uh, financial data companies are up. Utilities, uh, healthcare is up. Uh, discount stores are up and energy continues down. So that's the story there. Forgot to share it. I talked about it. So here's our share, as you can see it right here. Share our screen and show our chart with the annuities. Annuities beat index investing by about 5% per year. You never lose money with the annuities. Goes up the step, goes up the step, and goes up the step. And here's the average index ETF. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, annuities, please uh, get in contact with us. And we'll share more information. And <clears throat> let's go to our chart. There's Apple. Was up earlier, now it's down uh, two and a half percent. Not sure why this is not responding. Just as soon as I shut it off, then it starts responding. We're having a little trouble with this. And then it pops up. I'm not sure why it's slow today. And here's Meta. Got popped up to 450. So that's a story there. And Amazon. Popped up to 160 something. 
So that's the story there. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our dollar. Dollar is selling off here. So we got, let's take a look at the gold. Gold is popping up as dollar is pulling back. And silver is following suit. We've got a breakout in arrow copper. So we, um, Put that back on. We had this in another account and it's doing pretty well now. Hopefully this can break out of this pattern. <clears throat> the moves in the other copper were not as well. Uh, definitely having a challenge with This is actually doing a little better than it earlier. Earnings were supposed to come out today. Maybe it'll be in our news segment. Freeport McMoran is up as well. Off a little bit after hours. Vale just up ever so slightly. Rio is up slightly, and finally we got BHP. So they're all look like they're trying to hit bottom and stop going down. Take a look at the bond yields, treasury bond yields continue to slide, gap down. Yesterday, gap down again today. <clears throat> Closed um, kind of in the middle of its trading range. So the 10 year bond yield is now 3.86, definitely below four. And the 20 year is at 3.09. The VIX. Tried to go higher and then pull back, um, closed on its low at 1388. S&P 500 um, bounced back. It's now above its 10 day moving average, up 1.31. And RSP, the equal weight S&P 500 Sold off and now it's got above its 10 and 20 day moving average of 1.16%. I did not want to take my other cue. So <clears throat> the NASDAQ bounces back, bounces off its 20 day moving average. The equal weight taking out of the, the seven mega caps is up 1.1. IWM bouncing off the 50 day moving average, pretty strong 1.33. And the Dow Jones is up uh, nearly 1%. So it pulled back to its 10 day moving average and bounced, bounced up accordingly. Um, volume wasn't as strong as yesterday. Uh, Joe Fami was saying that he felt like this was portfolio window dressing volume was a little higher yesterday but i i think this was a distribution day myself because the volume was pretty high and on the nasdaq the volume was pretty high as well you gotta kind of watch out for those days but it's nice to bounce back today and let's take a look at the news here. <clears throat> Can take a look at 
some earnings news that happened before the bell. This is semiconductor that has been selling off pretty hard. Went up 12% today. Uh, their earnings were negative, but I think it was a lot better than people expected. Yeah, it was up 10% to earnings surprise. ATI sold off 5.6%, almost 5.7%. Earnings came in at 21%, much less than what people were expecting. Ball had a big move up today on their earnings up 77%. Looks like it initially sold off and then it just went up 7%. This sold off on earnings. Their earnings are down 11%. It's kind of Brunswick bounce today in sporting goods. Box moved up slightly. And we're not going to go through all of these today, but um, let's kind of. See what's in the news. <clears throat> so here's what's in the news. The bull bear spread of American Association of Individual Investors was 24.6 versus 13.2 last week. Bulls rise to 49.1 versus 39.3. Neutrals fall to 26.4 from 34.6, and bears fall from 24.5 from 26.1. On to the consumer, boot barn, quarter three EPS $1.81 on net sales of 520.4 million, and it's moving up about 10% today on this news. Meritage Homes. Quarter four EPS five dollars and thirty eight cents versus five dollars and seventeen cents, and it wasn't enough to boost this as it sold off seven percent. Stanley Black and Decker quarter four adjusted EPS ninety two cents versus seventy nine cents, sold off strong and then bounced off the two hundred day moving average. Visto. Outdoors, quarter three EPS, 80 cents versus 81 cents. Too many letters in my ticker symbol. Actually bounced quite a bit. I guess they were expecting worse news. Earnings are off 37%. Big bounce up 8.7%. Wind Resorts and Las Vegas Sands. January gross gaming revenue increased 67% from the year prior. Uh, got a gap up in wins. 3%. Las Vegas Sands up uh, pretty close to 4%. Lee Auto delivered 31,165 vehicles in January 2024, up 105.8% year over year. We got a little bounce. Looks like they're trying to bottom the stock. It's up 5.13%. Neo delivered 10,055 vehicles in January, increasing 18.2%. Their stock moves at 1.6. And Xpeng recorded monthly deliveries of 8,250 smart EVs, representing a 58% increase year over year. And it's up 1.68% as well. On to energy, industrials, and materials. C.H. Robinson Worldwide, EPS 50 cents versus 81 cents, a huge drop, down 12.6%. Corteva, I believe, are up strong today. Operating EPS 15 cents versus 6 cents. You have a huge gap up. Close near, it's low of the gap, but it's up over 18%. Eaton, quarter four EPS 255 versus estimate 247. 
um, up 7.51%, huge um, earnings increase, 24%, beat uh, expectations by 3%. Honeywell, quarter four adjusted EPS 260 versus 259. And it's not what people are looking for. We got a big drop, uh, gap down, and then recovered the rest of the day down 2.45%. Landstar quarter four EPS a dollar sixty two versus a dollar sixty two hit it right on the nose. People are expecting more, so I was down 0.37 percent, down a lot more earlier as earnings were down 38 percent. Next tracker, huge move. Next tracker, all the solar stocks got a little benefit from this. Their earnings up 231 percent, their stock is up 25 percent. Closed on the high, right into the profit-taking zone. Ray and Near, quarter four EPS, 17 cents versus 15 cents. Uh, maybe I didn't type the ticker symbol correctly. Here's Ray and Near, bounces 6.83%. In my window, my little reader here. Shut down. We'll get this going here in a second. So we on move on to shell. Shell reports 223, 20, 2023 profit at 28 billion, a 30% drop from previous. Although it did move up 1.86%, their earnings came negative 21%. Investor group led by Encora Holdings has taken roughly a $1 billion stake in Norfolk Southern and nominated majority slate of directors in a bid to out CEO Alan Shaw. Wall Street Journal reported, and people love this. Uh, their earnings came in at negative 17% and sold off. But uh, with this news, it's up 8.5% today. On to financials. AFLAC, quarter four adjusted EPS $1.25 versus $1.45. People do not like that. <clears throat> They're just diving. 9.7%. Avalon Bay, quarter three adjusted. FFO, $2.74 versus estimate $2.73. It sells off. People not happy with that. Met, quarter four adjusted EPS $1.83 versus $1.89. And they missed that as well. And the stock is diving 5.7%. New York Community Bank Corp said it sees full year 24 NII at 2.8 billion to 2.9 billion versus a 3.08 billion. And they took, I believe they took over um, a lot of the debt from Signature, Signature Bank. So they're they're definitely struggling. Their stock fell 11 over 11 percent. Healthcare. Merck, quarter four adjusted EPS, three cents versus estimate loss of 11 cents. And this is well liked, even though earnings are down 98%. Stock rises 4.64. Align technology, fourth quarter revenues, 956.7 million versus 933.8 million estimate. Quarter four adjusted EPS, $2.42 versus $2.18. Earnings were up 40%. It did move up higher and then it dived late. Arcutus Biotherapeutics files $300 million mix security shelf. Usually this would dive on that news, but it actually went up 13%.
Amazing. Conmed Corporation, quarter four adjusted EPS a dollar six versus dollar eleven, uh, down twelve point three eight percent. Protagonist Therapeutics entered into a license collaboration agreement with Takeda Pharmaceutical, and their shares went up fourteen percent on that news. And Takeda Pharmaceuticals, for this is for development, manufacture, and commercialization of companies Bruce for Teed and other licensed products. Um, Takeda initially sold off and then fought back to get above its 50-day 50 50 moving average. Qualcomm in the semiconductor space trying to be re relevant again, but um, they missed um, on their earnings. Their earnings came in at 275 versus estimate 237. Was only up 16%. I think people were expecting more, even though their earnings surprise was 36%. Pull back to its 50 day moving average. Benchmark Electronics hit a big home run today. Quarter four adjusted EPS, 58 cents versus 56 cents. Um, I guess people were expecting much less. 3% of decline in earnings, but their stock is up 9.14% today. DGII, quarter four EPS, 48 cents versus 44 cents. Earnings uh, came in pretty flat at 0%. It was a four, almost a 15% earnings surprise. Their stock is up almost 14%. Flex, quarter three adjusted EPS, 71 cents versus 61 cents. Their stock bounces 5.5% on that news. Kulik and Sofa, quarter one EPS, 30 cents versus 26 cents. And people were expecting a lot more than 130% of decline in earnings. So they're off almost 10%. Max Linear, also in semiconductors, quarter one, one cent and revenues 125.4. And they did not compete hard enough as it has fallen 11%. PTC, adjust EPS, dollar 11 versus 96 cents. It's off slightly, provides sec 2D and 3D computer aided design and manufacturing. Uh, Corvo, quarter three adjusted EPS, $2.10 versus $1.66. And this was well light. Got a bounce and raising up uh, about 6%. Wolf Speed, quarter two EPS loss, a dollar versus estimated loss of 66 cents. And they're off 13.6%. NVIDIA has started taking pre-orders for the new China-specific artificial intelligent AI chip for distributors who are pricing it on par with rival product from Huawei. Sources familiar with the matter told Reuters. And their stock was up 2.4%. And that's the news that we got for today. We'll take a look at... What's moving in the markets? <clears throat> well, SMCI continues to move strong. Let's take a look at um, what was up 3% with 50% increase in volume. Alpine Immune Sciences continues to move up. And super microcomputer. Boy, this is simply amazing. Up another 10% today. Trex. The bouncing out of a consolidation, uh, breaking out up 6.53% on their earnings are not for another 25 days, but it bounces relative strength is in a new high. This is a positive. And you can kind of see that. 
bounces into a new high. <clears throat> Pretty huge volume. That's all the things that you want to see. Momento economy Mexico ADR continues to move up, up 3.85. Celestica continues to lead. Flex Limited bounce. Modine, train technologies, gapped up on their earnings up 19%. Invent Electric continues, uh, had a pullback yesterday with the market, but it's up another 4% today. Vertiv, we put on option on Vertiv two days ago. Just taking a look at it. Put this on for March. We put the 57, 62 spread. So we put on the 57 March and shorted the 62. And it is trending upward. <clears throat> it is up 29% uh, in two days. And we put on a call on Datadog today on 127, 133 February, kind of waiting for their earnings to come in. And <clears throat> let's go back to our list. So Eagle Materials. <clears throat> Eagle Materials continues up strong in the infrastructure area. Parker Hannafin had a pretty big bounce, 7.68%. <clears throat> Sold off pretty strong yesterday, but bounced back on 29% earnings increase. Ferrari roars to the finish. Went right through its buy zone. 12.5% today. <coughs> Excuse me. Eaton Corp is uh, up 7.5%. And finally, in solar, we saw this in the news next tracker, uh, up 231%. Could just quickly take a look at others in the solar area. See how they did today. <clears throat> First solar. First solar tried to move and pulled right back down. Sun did move up a little bit, up 0.17%. And phase was a big leader during the pandemic, but it has come back down quite a bit, up 1.26%. And we'll take a look at Solar Edge. Up uh, about 4%. <clears throat> So these are the companies that were up 5%. Next tracker was there. <clears throat> FMC. There's like 43 items, so we're not going to, we're just going to look at the top 10. Um, is up 10%. Vista Outdoor. Saw them in the news. They're up 8.6. Ball Corp. Cortiva, Lancaster County of food processor up 11%. Had a pretty wide uh, move from the bottom to the top and then closed in the middle. 
Corvo. We got Eaton again. <clears throat> KB Korean Bank, KB Financial had a huge jump today, up 9.7%. And Shinan Financial, ADR for Korean Holding Corp, also up on the news. So that's kind of a look at where we are there. Let's take a look at, uh, we had a big move in ELF today. From yesterday, I guess it'd be the move it sold off. It went up to 163 yesterday and then pulled back to 157. Today it's up 1.86%. Um, after hours it's back to 163. Um, the earnings are in five days. So we'll just kind of see how this uh, moves. Uh, we we put this on at 120, right in this um, area where it had this tight action. Really like this tight action. And then it just continued moving up. Also, the analyst was just saying the stock was going to go up from this 120 area. I believe this sold off on earnings. So that's kind of the story there. It's working on a cup here. Cup pattern broke out and pulled back to 131. And then it just moved right on back there. <clears throat> Kava, Mediterranean Foods. Moved into the breakout zone again. So it is up in the pivot area up 5.5% today. So this is a little consolidation. I guess it could be a, that this could be a, the handle. So it has broke out. We do have uh, 10 options at 46 that we can convert. We may add some tomorrow. And ESTC we put, put on this morning. About a hundred uh, at a hundred and eighteen ninety, and I believe the other one was at one nineteen. Pulled back a little bit. Now after hours, it's up. So we'll see if that continues into tomorrow. BRT <clears throat> really like this one for the AI continues moving up. Manufacturers and services, digital infrastructure, technology. Had a really tight area right in here and then it popped. So this is where we put on the, the spread trade. <clears throat> Zscaler. Went, went up a, about 1% today after pulling back to its 20 day moving average. We'll continue to watch this. And the look at crowd is definitely the leader. Um, went above 300 after hours. It's just got a nice tight area right around 300. Pull back to the 10 day moving average and then bounce back today. Look at Palo Alto Networks and <clears throat> Sentinel, a recent IPO. Continues to do well. I was just going to see what the other. We have four main holdings. Yeah, GitLab was the other one. <clears throat> Put in an option buy and 55 right over here, right? I think it was the day before the earnings came out. No, it was right over in this area. And then it gapped up and it's just been running ever since. And it pulled back yesterday to the 10 day moving average and now it's bounced today up 1.72%. Earnings aren't for another 40 days. So that is a look at where everything is right now. Um, let's take a 
look around on the big cap tech. Microsoft bounced today after the big sell off yesterday. <clears throat> Continues up on Amazon and Facebook, and I'm not sure about Apple, but yeah, Apple remains down about 2%. Kind of bouncing around. We'll see how that comes across tomorrow. Meta, right around 450. <clears throat> Amazon, up around 170. So they're up about 8%. Tesla's kind of run into some issues, but they were up slightly up point eight four percent today. It's looked at Nvidia before, it was up two point four four percent and Netflix. Uh, continues up up point six percent. And one that people feel should be added, Eli Lilly had a nice day up 2.3%. And that's our show for today. This has been Mornings with Michael for information and educational purposes only. Um, we continue to uh, look for issues that will heighten the day. Forgot about uh, this holding DNN. <clears throat> we first Talked about it right around 179. And it just continues marching up. It's up to $2.14 now. So with that, you need to do your own due diligence. And remember, go out there and keep working on your goals and activities. And you'll surprise yourself and others around you. And don't let uh, any naysayers stop you from keeping keeping on and working on your passions. Everybody have a great day and we'll catch you up on Friday. <clears throat>